Over the years of doing YouTube, I've been sent some like cool stuff and some random stuff and bits that I'm like, wow. Uh, it never gets old, right? So then today we got sent this. Okay. Okay. I need to get a knife. But um, so how this came about? Squat jerk journalist. He's a guy on Instagram. Does like a load of videos around the Chinese weightlifting team, uh, weightlifting events kind of thing. Just reached out ran and was like, oh, I've got a cool pair of shoes that you maybe would like because you like the antas and would you like them? And then he sent me a photo and I was like, yes. Now I need to warn you guys that these are, they look crazy. I don't know if you're ready for this. I am so excited. Even if I don't like them and I don't end up wearing them, they're definitely going to be in the back of videos. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Come on, someone come and have a look at this. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Wow. Just, they're gold. I've got some gold shoes. I've got some gold shoes. Look at this. Let's have a look at this. They are the most outrageously ridiculous looking things I've ever seen, but I can't wait to wear them and give them a go. Like, it's like corn, but like uncool. Like, uh, what is happening? <laughs> wow, we. You're not even said hello to Jack's new arm. No. Okay, look. You know what? I'm, I'm just you at this one's really cool. The waves, the lightning, the mountains, the e eagles? Yeah. Eagles? The sun? What is it when we went to Peru? What do the Incas believe in? It's all the elements, isn't it? Like the water, the earth, the. I don't know. Fire. Fire and whatever the. Yeah. <laughs> really cool. Yeah, I love it. So I was literally good. just watching it when he was doing his exercises like this and didn't think. I was just like, oh, that's cool, but didn't twig. <laughs> the volume continues. Uh, obviously, training three days a week at the moment, but squatting. No. What did I say? I don't know, but is this music going to affect the company? I know, it'd be right. They all learn a love for nothing else. I'm on the list now. We let the liquor talk. Uh, yeah, so training four times a week at the moment, squatting three of them, front squat two times a week, big back squat volume one time a week. And on this day, it's snatch and clean and jerk tempos. A decent whack of volume in my new brightly coloured shoes. Which Jack said, and everyone else said the day before. Jack's only just seen him, but everyone else said the day before. It reminds me of when you used to play football as a kid, and if you had really bright boots, you had to be good. Someone replied to my story and said, you can't miss in those, and I'm like, yeah, I guess, you know? Confidence at the moment is very down with lifting. I did some cleaning jerks yesterday, and it's just head game, mental game. I'm not really in a flow, like life hasn't, like lifting hasn't been going alright. Like I've been hitting the squats and it's been, that's been going alright, but the lifting part at the moment, I just, I don't really know what's going on, so I'm just getting this down, I'm hopefully going to get it all ticked off and just keep moving. But I said this morning that today, positive only. No negativity whatsoever. He's got up and started moaning, as he always does. What? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, 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 not today. <laughs> That's what you need another half for, just to tell you to stop being a little bitch. <laughs> and just get on with it. Tempos are hard, so slow off the ground, so you hold that good position. And then once you're past the knees, then you use that explosiveness. But because you haven't got that little bit of speed off the floor, uh, it makes it hard, but you should be in a good position for that pull. It's like doing block snatch, but you're kind of slowly deadlifting at first, which makes it really hard. But we'll see what happens. Also... What are those? Also, take a look at me flippers, man. Nah, they, we got sentiment, I just thought, I might as well give them a roll, you know, like the... 
barefoot. Stuff in it. It feels like I'm going to the beach and I'm just about to go crabbing. With that little bit of string, you know, I used to get the crabs. And I got my dog dad bod on today. That's how he says he wants you in the club. He doesn't say word. <laughs> He comes over to you like that and then he turns around and goes away like that. And how can you resist that after a couple of lunges? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. People can't resist that move. I've just done the first set and I know these are going to be hard. All that time and detention, that last like rep of the three. I gotta focus on really moving well to, to get the rep. Oh. My bum and hamstrings on that last rep just are like so fried from being so controlled that I just feel like I have no change of power. See what happens on the next set. I think I'm going to take a little bit more, like obviously the weight's going up, but take a little bit more rest between rep two and three. I was trying to just keep it moving, keep that tension on the muscles the whole time, but going back to tempos is hard, but it's so good for a positional awareness and strength. Can't deny them. It's just that time under tension. The muscles are like, I was at what? 65% of my, 95% of my snatch. 65% of 95%. And I'm still like, whoa! Find that third rep. Whoa! Go again, keep fighting. snatches in with the tempo again this is only like the second week back so the volume will come the ability to handle the volume will come left what it's come down to all the volume 120 two singles here we go when I was pulling that slowly off the floor I 100% can't even speak now <laughs> had a list I 100% thought I wasn't gonna make the snatch but it's the confidence in holding the bar close once it's past the knee you just have to trust your position and your power just to, to go for it get that full extension don't pull short because you're rushing it There was a few misses in the session, but pretty good. Obviously stripped down the volume a little bit, but that's just some days, you know, I'm telling you, it's how it is when you're doing it. Post-workout essential snack. 
See you later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. He's got to drop the vlog off. We'll see him in a bit. Oh, yeah. I'll see you with the laptop. <laughs> All right. See you later, Liam. See you guys. See you in a week. Your time. Bye. 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 Bye, friends. Bye, fitness friends. You know what? I actually like these. I feel like they're a mix of the ones and the twos. So we'll uh, give them another week of testing. I just think they look cool. They're very, very outrageous. Power range shoes. Yeah. You're coming with me to America. There we go to America! Look at you, you're a little softy. I love coming home to these two little waggy tails. <laughs> Good girl, Bella. Gonna miss you? Yeah, I know, I'm gonna miss you for whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> gonna miss you for a week. That damn hitting hard, dropping boots. Damn. damn. Famous. Jazz loves this machine. It's become one with the machine, haven't you? Jazz is chopping up potatoes. You put them in the water for 20 minutes, gets the starch out. That's how you make crispy potatoes, isn't it? Mm, yes. Helps them cook better. And then, 20 minutes? Shaking them every so often? 200 yeah. degrees? Pretty much everything is 20 minutes at 200 degrees. <laughs> I, you know, I don't rate jelly beans at all. They're a good like little snacker. No. Just need a little As in terms of like hierarchy of sweets, yeah. I think honestly they're down the bottom. I'm not saying that they're the best, but it's good if you just need a little little something sweet. And who do you think we are? That's Matt and Sammy. Oh. <laughs> Gifts. Bit of culture here. For the English, you'll know exactly what I'm on about and how amazing this is. For the Americans, we have places called fish and chip shops, uh, where they do chips, but not like fries, you know, like, how do you explain that as a cut up potato? It's, a, it's amazing, it's a chip. isn't it? Wow. Mm. <laughs> Tonight, what I've got is a typical chicken meat kebab with chips and salad. <laughs> My mouth is watering whilst I'm saying it because I can't wait. Little bit of hot chili sauce, mint yogurt. Oh my word, look at that. Comes on a stick. Amazing. And they like shave it off. And it's all the parts of the chicken that probably shouldn't be eaten, but then they just mush it together and it tastes incredible. Waste I nearly time. couldn't finish that without dribbling. I'm very disappointed I didn't get one now. Americans, if you ever come over here, head to a fish and chip shop, get a chicken meat, kebab, salad, chili sauce. Mint yogurt, you won't be disappointed. And it's gonna fuel my front squats tomorrow. Delicious. Oh, making me take my top off. Question is, why? Because you're really messy. Yes, it's not because it's hot in here, or it's making me hot. It's because I don't want to ruin my t-shirt. To the sofa.